Hi everybody, I'm meteorologist Joe Chaffee and uh, this is the overnight GFS run and I'm going to tell you right off the bat I am really having a rough time trying to even get a grasp of what is going on here because basically the entire Arctic region is burning up or will eventually be burning up. Um, first off we have our shot of cold air that comes in this weekend and into the early part of next week we have one shot that comes in Friday night pulls out and here's the second shot which the model seems to be weak a little weaker with it it's still a sh decent shot of cold air uh, the European has been consistently stronger with this trough uh, for early next week it has a colder look for Monday and Tuesday and I'm tending to trust that model more uh, right now than this one but let's move along you can see uh, that trough pulls out and we have a trough here that runs pretty much from the west all the way down to the south to the to Florida and you have the beginnings of a polar flow but it isn't all that strong and it isn't really all that cold but you can start to see there's a little vortex that forms very small another one in Hudson's Bay these features are weaker than what was being shown over the last couple of days but they kind of move along and it does signal this model anyway has some kind of a storm that it tries to form off the Florida coast and brings it up along coastal North Carolina actually brings precip here at the end of next week before it just kind of shoves it out to the northeast and just underneath us and then it just gets very strange because you have all this rising pressures and heights all across the Arctic region uh, right uh, through the middle of the month and it just gets more and more on fire in the meantime a vortex does form over Hudson's Bay but the model seems to want to stretch part of it out and takes a piece of it and moves it <clears throat> east of Maine leaves another one back behind near Lake Winnipeg uh, and then we have all this and, and this is what I'm not getting because I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this where uh, we have just a blocking all over the place a high pressure just building like crazy uh, from Iceland over toward uh, easternmost Greenland and then you have another upper high over Alaska coming over the top it just seems like the entire Arctic region is burning up in here while we have uh, colder air somewhat colder air gets displaced down southward but I'm just really having a tough time with this model run tonight so I'm I'm gonna wait for the European later today to figure out what exactly is, is, is going to happen I'm gonna switch just to show you with regards to the surface here so we can take a look at what it does <coughs> excuse me for later next week with these storm uh, st signals that it's giving and uh, I'm just gonna back it up because that's the end of the period but you can start it from here now this is uh, tonight that low goes out it gets colder as we go into Saturday then that cold air kinda modifies a little bit and then we have another front right through here and that brings the shot of cold air for Sunday in the, into Monday as high pressure builds south uh, southeastward from Canada this is actually a halfway decent shot of cold air it's not as cold as the last two runs I'm thinking the European has been consistently showing a colder uh, air mass there so I'm going to kind of go with that until proven otherwise and then here's our low it, it almost looks like <clears throat> the low starts off south of the Florida Keys then runs north northeast along the coast brings precip here I, I'm not quite sure if that's even real where it has snow on the northern fringe it seems to me like it just won't be cold enough there's cold air back through the lakes but it probably gets here too late and then the low just gets shoved out to the east and gone we dry out and turn a little colder another low comes out heads for Chicago and then all of a sudden a new one pops up off the Carolinas and then that goes out to the east and now you have all this cold air and we're into uh, the 12th of January here and we've got a uh, some sort of Arctic front that's approaching if you want to call it an Arctic front I don't know and then it just gets colder after that uh, honestly I, I think I want to wait a, 
I'm, I'm going to wait till the European comes out to figure this out because this is just a little bit too bizarre for me. I'm not, I can't seem to make any heads or tails of it. So we will punt uh, as we like to do. And I have said this, and I'm going to say it again, pattern change is happening. What we wind up with may not be what you what, what you want. Doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to go from one extreme to the other. We do have a lot of the indexes that we uh, watch, the Atlantic Oscillation, the North Atlantic Oscillation, the Eastern Pacific Oscillation, all going strongly negative, um, and that is supposed to favor colder weather, but there are a lot of intric little intricacies there that we have to have to uh, put together. The Arctic Oscillation is the one that's supposed to go strongly negative. Uh, I'm I'm just again very confused by all of this. I don't mean to uh, not give a definitive answer, but I guess at this point of the night when I'm cutting this uh, video, I'm kind of tired. So uh, I will uh, look at this with fresh eyes in the morning, look at the European, and reevaluate. So uh, enjoy your New Year's Eve. A happy New Year to everyone. And uh, we uh, will uh, continue on this mad pattern change adventure we are on.